Alright everybody, today we're going to be doing an experiment. This is to find out uh, whether making your own ethanol is cost effective. Alright, <clears throat> here's a generator. I just bought it yesterday. It's brand Today I'm going to be running it off of Everclear because um, I don't want to go sinking a bunch of time and money into making my own hooch whenever they're not, if it's not even going to work. You're going to be seeing everything as it happens for the first time because I haven't done this yet. And uh, is, uh, I've got a uh, 12 amp vacuum cleaner. I've got a 10 amp skill saw. A 7 amp leaf blower. And a 6 amp sander. And this generator will power the vacuum cleaner, the skill saw and the sander but it will not power the vacuum cleaner, the skill saw and the leaf blower. And there's only a one amp difference there so if you add that up that's 6 and 10 is 16 plus 12 how many is that? 16 and 12, 28 so it'll, it'll do 28 amps but not 29 so that'll be the benchmark for um, for the alcohol, Let's see if it'll if it'll do the same. Right now I'm gonna do my uh, runtime test. See how long it'll run on a cup of gasoline. Well, it's decided to rain on me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fuel line off, just like that, and start it up and run it dry. Now I'm going to replace the fuel line with this. This is the funnel. I'm going to stick that on there. And I'm going to measure out exactly one cup of gasoline into here. And I'm going to run it until it quits and see we're going to time that, see how long it takes. Okay, um, I had to go get a fuel clamp to put on that, that hose that would leak. And uh, once again, I ran it dry and then put half a cup of.
minutes and 55 seconds. So if all goes well, that should be the last time this thing runs on gasoline. Now for the alcohol. Half a cup of Everclear this time. just for the rain. I haven't done anything to the engine, so we're going to see if it'll run just like it is. I'll be able to do it. I'm break her off. It's a little bit less efficient, but it works. Now it's time to do some math. Alright, for that ethanol, uh, I gotta admit, I didn't think it was gonna work. I was a little surprised when it did, so I kind of missed the time whenever it started to run. But I think I got it within about 10 seconds, so we're gonna go with 230. 85 percent of the efficiency on ethanol that you get on gas. It's not within the 10 percent that I've said, but you know what? I'll say it is. So, will the engine run on it? Yes. Efficiently? Yes. Will it power a load? Yes. Will it damage the engine? Don't know yet. Modifications needed. No. So, that's about as far as I can go in this phase of the experiment. So, I was real surprised about that. Um, I guess the next step is go get some corn and yeast or whatever I need and start making some moonshine see if I can run my engine off of that out okay I just thought of one last thing to do to see if uh, moonshine will damage the engine is I'm just gonna pour the rest of this uh, Everclear in the engine and run it until it runs out Huge party foul.